If you're on YouTube, I'm sure you've heard of the name Twames. He's a popular YouTuber that has since gone MIA. Uh, nobody can really find him right now. Uh, he was a Viner, turned YouTuber. Of uh, he was very successful. Uh, but now he's inactivated his Instagram, his Twitter. What? His YouTube's still up and live, but he made his header black, his avatar black, Whoa. and he hasn't posted anything since May. <gasps> so, May? Why? Since May? Since May. Did he go? And that's the question. Where okay. did Twames disappear <laughs> Where to? In the world um, is Twames? He was obviously struggling with his self-identity because he played a character called Twames. His real name is Issa, and I think he was getting <laughs> lost in playing his character, and he was no longer happy playing his character because How do we know this? Uh, before he quit, he said, I know this is the worst thing to say, but I need to start a new chapter in my life that doesn't involve Twames. That person no longer exists. And then he also followed that by saying, uh, well, just urging fans to talk to somebody if they struggled with depression or identity oh, wow. like him. So he said, please talk to somebody. Um, Why is this coming up right now? Well, just because this week he activated his Instagram and Twitter and posted on both of them. For the first time since. Got fans going crazy Whoa. and then deleted them both again. Oh, what? weird. And is not active on YouTube. Oh, and what did he post? So he said... And was he posting as Twain? He, well, he, it was on his account, and he just said, on Twitter, he said, oh, hey there, and then shortly That's after, it? deleted it again. So, like, literally popped back up. That's weird. People were going crazy, okay, so one thing and then deleted it again. One thing is to say, Twames is gone, I can no longer put up with this character. That's fine. Like, you're, you grow up, you're moving on, you know, oh, hey, I'm going to get a regular job, or whatever he's going to do. Um, but another thing is kind of where he's, you, you're telling us he had some issues with identity, like and, and self identity with and like, depression. I think it's okay. because he created a character on YouTube that became hugely popular. So back in 2013, he went to VidCon as a fan guy. Like he was just obsessed with YouTubers, loved YouTubers, met a bunch of YouTubers, and then like became friends with some YouTubers, became friends mm. with them, started his own channel. And then he was getting something like two to three million views on every video that he was posting. So like wow. he was pretty successful out the gate. Mm -hmm. He then got deals with uh, people like Fool screen. He was doing like a documentary with them. He was uh, signed up to host a show for them. So and he that was already probably received some of that money. Probably. I mean, I have no idea, I but mean, I just know. Contracts yeah, yeah, normally if you're signing a contract, you get something, if mm -hmm. not all up front to do the do show. You think he's just burnt out and he's like, I'm done with this. I'm no longer YouTubing. Well, why is that like not a possibility? Like when Dave Chappelle was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm moving to Africa. Yeah, yeah and why, why is it a problem? Possibility? Why is it a problem that he, well, he or feels maybe well, it's because people I are think, concerned yeah, that his it fans goes far more. Feel like misled there's if you go on his last video you'll still see like up to the hour people mm. being like where are you yeah. what's going on what Weird. happened to him fans and have gone so, so far and even if he didn't want to be his alter ego as twames he could have come back as himself just to yeah. let everyone know but hey clearly here's I, am, but I he... think there must be some sort of mental health depression mm -hmm. i mean this reminds Something me honestly on. this reminds me of like robin williams mm. you know he was this beloved character he mm. played so many beloved characters and then but deep inside we didn't know how suffering. dark or yeah. even like yeah. more recently like demi lovato who's saying she's going to quit music, but Demi's more like bark than bite. I feel like mm -hmm. he just kind of cut it off completely, which is why it was so shocking and nobody really knew what happened. In one of his last interviews, he said, I feel like I live almost a Hannah Montana life, oh, uh, referring no. his character uh, to Miley Cyrus's. Oh, no. So I think he just got in too deep and then got sick of what he was doing and then disappeared. But my question is, is if you post on YouTube regularly, if you're a YouTube personality and you essentially have a job, which is kind of what he had with full screen, is it okay to completely disappear without telling your audience? I think it's, it's a responsibility as like a public person, whether you're a YouTuber or whatever, if you are in the public eye, mm -hmm. it's your responsibility to kind of just deliver it to your audience and say, hey guys, I'm taking a year yeah. break or yeah. I'm taking a month off or whatever, which a lot of YouTubers do tend to do. We've heard it with this couple that recently broke up with Colleen. Um, you know, they were struggling with their situation because they didn't know where the channel was well, going to go. They said they were going to post for a while, and now Colleen's posted every day up to the but, release but of her Netflix show. But what I'm saying is show. she gave mm -hmm. an explanation, like, hey, you, you may or may not see me on YouTube as often, right. and it's because this. And I know it's nobody's business what's happening in your personal life, but when you're a public person, and if you really care about your you fans, I feel like... You've kind of made it our business, though, because as a vlogger or a I'm YouTuber, saying. you make me feel like you're my best 
best friend, so I feel like if you're going to leave me, you have to tell hey, me something. Because if yes. I stop talking to you, I'd tell you I was going to stop talking. And I think talking. they will. It's like a social <laughs> yeah. media want... responsibility to just well, inform the viewer. But is it, though? We want them to do that, and we care mm -hmm. about them, or at least we care about them as this alter ego. But if he wakes up one day and he realizes he has such an unhealthy, toxic relationship with his social media, with his career, with his audience, and he doesn't even have the capacity yeah. to still engage with them in a way that is healthy, mm -hmm. then by all means, you owe yourself health first. Go do right. you, get some counseling. Here's, here's my thing on that though. So the only platform he didn't delete was his YouTube, which makes he's, which means he's still making mm -hmm. money but from the plays that oh. are happening. So if he's concerned about still making money, hmm. then he should probably have made a goodbye video because that probably would have been his biggest video and he'd still be making money on it. And not just for the money, for his fans as well, because right. he just disappeared just to be like- So then his only concern isn't money. You just said it yourself because he would have made even more money. But then I'm saying on the uh, so, but he is concerned, or he would have deleted his channel. But I'm saying aside from well, maybe that, maybe he has to be realistic. The man needs money, especially to pay for counseling. Especially if you're going into hiding for yeah. like six right. months. Exactly. But aside from that, he could have just made a 15 second video, being like, "Hey, I need a really big break. We Love you. Have, Bye." But when you that message is a sane person. Yeah. If you suddenly realize you're literally having a mental breakdown, you're I not capable of 20 point. second you know, centered uh, yeah, And also, but like, when know. you delete your YouTube channel, is it gone forever? Because I know when you, you can deactivate it, right? And then activate it again. So, but he didn't deactivate his Instagram account. No, he, well. He deactivated it, he didn't delete it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know what he he's not making money oh, yeah, off because of if he Instagram comes back, right. then he's. And then it wasn't deleted, it was just, he just got posted. Deactivate. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. So, my question then to you guys is how big of an event would have to happen in your lives for you to then go delete your social media platforms because mm. you know social media is how our generation validates themselves. And yes, I agree with Miriam where she says if a sane person would give an explanation, but I feel like regardless, Selena Gomez did it. She said, hey guys, I'm taking a break, I'm leaving, and she I hasn't been so has, Well, though. Selena has a yeah. team of people advising her. So I'm. So here's my question. Do you guys think, because he's a massive YouTuber, do you think there's like a partner or someone that helps him? There well, has to he be. He was partnering with Full Screen, and I think he probably had to have some kind of, like when you're signing up to do a show with somebody, you have a contract, and I think that still didn't stop him because where is he? He's not okay. doing that show. This really makes me think of Dave Chappelle. He is one of the most talented comedians to walk on the face of this planet. He he was making so much money. He on the outside, like Robin Williams, it just looked like yeah. such a successful life. Internally, he was dealing with so much anxiety and so much depression and such a breakdown that someday, at some point, it goes from 99 to 100. And the minute you reach 100, you're not capable of going but back to work and handling your responsibilities re Just recently, that rapper that I was telling you about that posted to Instagram too, and he said, hey, I'm very, very, very depressed. I'm gonna have to leave you guys for a bit. And, and so, then he did. And then he did. So, oh, and, and the argument with Selena is, you know, she's been in the spotlight for years. She's been dealing with this for years. He's new to this. Maybe mm -hmm, he doesn't know mm -hmm. what he's supposed to do to these and fans. And it's more severe. And, and also, how do we really know that Selena is the one who was tweeting, I'm mm -hmm. taking a break? True. She has handlers. So he doesn't true. have anyone on his team. Yeah, yeah. Very it's just true. him. But back to my question, like, Deleting your socials is such a huge right. statement. That's for so big. For a celebrity, big. especially. For, yeah, for a celebrity, for anyone in the public eye, deleting your socials is massive. Yeah. If I wasn't in the public eye, like if I changed careers, I would delete my accounts. Really? I would. But would you say anything? But how do we know you're doing anything? Because I just go <laughs> away for the weekend and I'm like, hey guys, I'm not going to be active. I'll be back in four days, but don't freak out. I'll be back. I don't know. I just feel like would anyone care if I went dark on Instagram? Yes, because you are hilarious. I'd be like, "Where's Lauren?" And her funny post. Ten years later, oh yeah, Lauren. Forgot about her. I don't know. Yeah. I think. I mean. I also think though, like a lot of YouTubers, they are very vocal about saying how they weren't happy until they found YouTube and gained a large audience, mm. and how that changed their life. But maybe Twames is actually doing happiness right and leaving when it wasn't healthy for him because mm -hmm. is basing your the number of subscribers you have making you happy unfortunately that's the game a lot of people play 
And when you invest your eggs in that basket, then if the numbers are going up, you are feeling good. But you're mm -hmm. also waiting for the shoe to drop. And the minute the shoe drops, and you're like, oh my god, this video didn't do as well as the last video. Yeah. And that starts spiraling down. So does your self-worth because you reading married your, the two. Reading your comments, yeah. I mean, God, that, I can't imagine someone with as many subscribers as him having to deal with those comments every day yeah. when he already is clearly having mental and issues. if it's on top of playing a character who he yeah. doesn't necessarily relate to or love. And how old is he? Do we know how old he is? He's young. I'm, I'm not sure his exact Man, age, but he's comments young. comments will... Kill Comments are killer. They yeah. will destroy mm -hmm. you on the inside. Doesn't matter how young or old you are. Like and comments he, about you. What about physical? I've cried over comments yeah, before. I know. Oh, so have I. What about physical really? sightings? Yeah. I, you, I think he's not. I don't him. even think he's in LA. I think he pieced out. But if he's a YouTuber, it's like a worldwide audience. That's yeah. Somebody true. is bound to see like, him. How have they not Especially, seen him? Like, he's managed fans. to stay really quiet. Like, not a lot of people are yeah. talking about it. Like, I, if you more, go to his channel, you see it. And the more you stay out of the public eye, the more people kind mm -hmm. of forget but about then you. That's all, if that's his job and that's what's making him money, is he going to be as relevant when he comes back? Is that like, That's a big thing. Like, even a singer, if they take a year off, mm -hmm. are they going to come back as strong as I mean, they on were? YouTube, if you, take, if you tell everyone, I'm going to make a video every day, every Friday and you skip a Friday when you come back your viewers are already down like you have to be so consistent on mm. YouTube I think I think coming back after taking six months off and expecting your viewers to still be there and remember who you are is maybe for that a lot first one because you've celebrity. been gone but then I think mm -hmm. yeah. following that it's but does he even want to come back I hope that right. one of you guys sees him and then maybe he snaps a little photo and ask and him, if he's listening just know that we care we're coming from a place of love yeah. And yeah, take, take the time YouTube. take the time you need to, to yeah. make yourself healthy and if you never right. want to come back because it's not a healthy place then for you to be too. in, then that's great. Yeah. Uh, I just hope wherever you are, you're doing good and you're healthy yeah. and you're happy and you found a life that You're living your best life. You we better. understand that the internet can be a dark place. We've all experienced that, I think, but not all of it is dark and a lot more people are wishing you light. Yeah. All right, you guys, let us know what you're thinking in the comments section below. Send him your well wishes mm -hmm. and let us know where you think he may be or if you've seen him out and about. And then... And also follow us on the socials. Yes. <laughs> Do that. Mary Misa, Vivian Fabiola, Ryan Vivian. Adams. <laughs> Lauren Powell. Lauren Powell. All right, you guys, <laughs> click over to the left to find out what in the world cuffing season is. Or click to the right to find out everything you need to know about the clown attack craze and how to prevent the clown attacks. <laughs>